It's a dream. In one garage, you keep a 240 mile an hour legend, the McLaren F1. In the other, you've got Ferrari's finest achievement, the Enzo, a combined value approaching two million pounds. Both of these cars are awesome on the track, but we wanted to know what's it like owning and driving them in real life on real roads. And now, for the first time, thanks to a generous fifth gear viewer, we can tell you. Come on, this is our Enzo for a day. And the look, there's nothing like this in supercar world. This is the supercar that looks more like a spaceship than any other. It's just stunning. And the closer you get, the more... I don't know, the more you want to... open the door. And it just invites you, it beckons you to come. But the contrast is immediate from the stunning exterior to the almost basic functional interior. I mean, look at this hinge, a big alloy chunk of metal that's the door hinge, and I've got windy down windows. No carpet, spend all that money and no carpets, but you don't care because you see things like race and mode set. Then you see start. Then you see a key. Lots of noises. Flip the paddles for N. And perhaps press the start button. My heartbeat's just got up about 50 beats. And that is coming through the seats into my back and into my spine, tingling up into my brain. And I haven't even touched the throttle pedal yet. It's a car that gives you goosebumps, but the experience is slightly dampened because you know one day, just like the F40 and F50 before it, the Enzo will be replaced, whereas the F1 will exist forever as the McLaren flagship. Now, this, of course, is a a race car that's been converted back for use on the road, so it hasn't got all the luxury interior. I've just got to remember how to get into a McLaren F1. But once inside that brilliant driving position that Gordon Murray created, no beautiful dials in front of me, a race-spec dashboard, and this whole bank of carbon fibre surrounded switches. Time for some noise. Well, music to me. Full race spec master switch. Ignition. Fuel pumps on. Stripped out for race spec, this car has lost like 300 kilos of weight, so it's lost all the sound deadening. So this is not going to be a quiet trickle when you drive the car. In fact, I noticed these headsets, because the only way you can talk to a passenger if you had one is with these. Hopefully I'll be able to drive without them. Because to listen to that V12 in the back is very special. How long is that nose and how near is that I've now done some proper mileage in an Enzo. It's nothing like what I thought it was. It's not an animal at all. It's 
calm, it's relaxed, it doesn't spur you on. It's a very pleasant cruiser. And I think the reason why you feel so relaxed is the fact that you, you know there's so much extra performance available, you're never going to get anywhere near its limits on the public roads if you don't bother to try. But I guess there's one button I've got to try, and that's the race button. I'm mean, just to see how different it feels, because it does sharpen up the engine and the suspension, so we'll just have it in the rev band, three, then just press it and... Oh! Steering is now, yeah, sharpened a tad. The gear change should be a bit quicker. Suddenly I feel a bit egged on. It's amazing what a difference one button can make. Oh my God, it's got no lock. It's got the racing rack, which is faster. And it's got no lock. <laughs> oh dear. I thought I'd drive this without this headset on, but it is so noisy, especially with the gearbox. In fact, if I didn't have this on, you wouldn't hear me speak. But I have to say, I feel a bit like a, a fighter pilot taking his F-16 down to the shops. This whole car just is saying, let's go, let's go. White circle with black vinyl lines across it, which means we can now go three, two... widescreen television in front of me on a PlayStation game. Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh! It's going to get me into trouble. This car is going to get me into trouble. I think these headsets on it makes me feel more like I'm in a racing car. I've got my crash helmet on. I'm in racing mode. I probably need to take them off in order to calm myself down to listen to all that. Oh, oh, oh. To listen to all the noises of the car. Oh, my God. But getting back into McLaren has reminded me what supercars should all be about. And it's all about the driving experience. But most of all, it's just this stunning performance. Because I'm sitting in the most exciting... I say this in the most exciting road car ever built. Make a decision right now to roll up your sleeves and go to work side by side with us. I think we got something here. And I want you to know that this company really has turned a corner for me in my life. Standing on the threshold of greatness. Welcome to Zango. It's up to us to go the extra mile. Hi, this is T. Harv Eckers, best-selling author of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, mastering the inner game of wealth. As founder of Peak Potential, one of the fastest growing business and personal success training companies in North America, I have helped half a million people transform their lives. Now, if you found yourself at this site, then like most people, you've probably been looking to improve the quality of your life. And if that's the case, then pay close attention to what the next gentleman you're about to hear from has to say.